is that, that is undeniable Seamus fact. beat Drew. Okay. On Raw? Yeah. Okay. Seamus beat Drew. Gotcha. Yes. Which led to AJ pinning Seamus in the chamber. Right. And Drew beat AJ, and then The Miz cashed in on Drew. After Lashley screwed Drew, because the storyline is Lashley doesn't care about the world title. He's mad that he lost the U.S. title. Okay. You got me. Can anyone fill me in on this? Um, no, I think you're, you, you, you explained it yourself. They, they, everything is planned one show at a time. And uh, so, not even one show at a time, bro. One segment at a time. Like, I don't even think they knew what they were doing today till today. Well, yeah, it's one show at a time. Today was the day they planned the show. That's what I mean. So we've had discussions on the retro. I mean, I can understand if it turned out that, like, you know, Drew was pregnant. They had to take the title off of him tonight. I don't think he is. But he's not. Yeah. So what? Fucking, you know how frankly, much they if, protected if he, if this motherfucker? He had to work that match. That's not good. They, portray- they protected Drew. They protected Sheamus. They protected Lashley. And who's the champion right now? The Miz in 2021. Who could possibly care about this shit? Who? I mean, no one. I hear. <laughs> Look, Brian, 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 Brian. You know how we watched those retro shows on. Tuesday's review, Old Raw Smackdown. Yes, and I uh, do know this. You enjoy them more than I do because you just you don't have any hope for the show to be good. And so you just enjoy the Steve Austin comedy, for example. I go into modern WWE. I have no hope or expectation that the show will be any good. I have no hope or expectation there will be any long-term storylines to pay off. I have no hope or expectation anything will make sense. I just sit back and enjoy the action. The action on Elimination Chamber was tremendous. I had a great time watching Elimination Chamber. Do I care about any of the titles? No. Do I care about any of the long-term storyline? No. But I spent, what, uh, not uh, two and a half hours, that's also a plus. I spent uh, 150 minutes watching pro wrestling, and I enjoyed myself. And that, in 2021, doesn't often happen. Well, hey, I'll say this. Like, I mean, the fact that this show was less than three hours long, I mean, I was overjoyed. And I will say I was I was very much enjoying it until the end, until the Miz won the championship. You, let me tell you how bad it was when Miz won the title. It was so bad that I had my expectations lowered. That's my new gimmick. Like I lower my expectations to the bottom, and so I did that for the Rumble. Yes. And so when it was over, like I was I was I enjoyed the Rumble because I had sure. such low expectations. I lowered my expectations to the bottom of the fucking barrel. And I still left the show disappointed. I don't even know how that's possible. I don't but they either. managed to pull it off. I'm not sure we, what you expected better out of this show. Drew leaving as champion, maybe. Or, you know, anybody, any, literally anyone else in that chamber could have left as champion. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll be honest. Like every I, single person in the chamber. I'm looking back at all the stuff that I got excited for. That, that's the amazing thing. That's how much I enjoyed this show. It left me looking forward to future shows, which never happens with the WWE anymore. And I'm realizing now all those matches I was invested in happening down the road have now been rendered null and void. That is true. That is true. I mean, that's what happened. I mean, we know one match, okay? Here's the thing. We know one match for WrestleMania. It's Edge and Roman Reigns, okay? Mm. Anything else you think you know, just stop (laughs) thinking that right now, okay? Because I'll give you an example. They had the most obvious storyline on the face of the goddamn fucking planet Earth. And that is, Ali attacks Kofi and prevents him from getting an elimination chamber. It's been built for a year. Ali talked about it in interviews on fucking television. Mm -hmm. And they still didn't do it. We could have brought back The Fiend. I don't want to see The Fiend back, but motherfucker, they've been building it up forever. And they just beat Randy Orton and got his ass out of the cage. So if you have any expectations based on what you saw tonight, if they did not announce it to you, then do not build up your expectations because there's no way of knowing where they're going. They're going to go where wherever Vince decides to go tomorrow, which he probably has a plan tonight, but it doesn't matter because it'll right. change tomorrow. Yes. It might change on his way home tonight. If you're a big fan of these video clips here on YouTube, you're missing out on full-length shows. 
Down there on the bottom right-hand side of the screen, click that Join button, and when you sign up, you'll have full access to all of the shows that we've got up on YouTube, over 300 at current count. Wrestling Observer Live, The Brian and Vinny Show, and Figure Four Daily with Filthy Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. Hit the Join button, sign up today. You can also click Subscribe, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows and clips are available.